Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will interact with the Chief Ministers on the COVID-related situation in the country. The review meeting will be held today at 12 noon through video conferencing. The meeting has been called in the wake of rising cases of COVID-19 in the country as some of the states in Union territories are witnessing surge in the daily cases. Dimabu, Jamukedima and New Land have been declared as no flying zone for 10 days from today. In an order, Commissioner of Police and Chairman Aerodrome Committee, Rotihir Tetsio, said the whole area of Dimapu, Jumgedima and New Land is declared as no flying zone for remotely piloted aircraft for the period of 10 days starting from April 27. Tetsio cautioned that violation of the order will amount to suspension or cancellation of the UIN and UAOP of the RPA issued by the Director General of Civil Aviation and will attract punitive action under relevant sections of Indian Penal Code, Aircraft Act 1934, the Aircraft Rules 1937 or any statutory provisions. Drugs Controller General of India, DCGI, has given restricted emergency use authorization to Parat Biotech's Covaxin for children. The approval has been given for the children between the age of 6 to 12 years. It has also granted emergency use authorization to Corpovax for those aged between 5 to 12 years. In a tweet, Union Health Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia said the DCGI has also granted emergency use authorization to Zikov D for children above the age of 12 years for a two dose regime. Union Ministry of Labour and Employment said that unemployment rate has declined in the country and periodic labour force survey data indicates that the labour force and workforce in the country has increased steadily during the financial year 2017-18 to 2019-20. The ministry said it is further evident from the data that the increase in female labour force as well as female work and population ratio in the same period is higher compared to increase in male labour force and worker population ratio. The ministry said the Economic Survey 2021-22 estimates indicate an increase of 4 crore 45 lakh in employment during 2019-20 compared to 2018-19. Advisor Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services and Women Resource Development R. King yesterday inaugurated the Mikey Store at Kuta Village in Dimapu. Mikey Store is an initiative of Department of Women Resource Development to promote products of local women. Advisor King said the Women Resource Development Department has been able to work for the upliftment of women in the state through its state grant innate. He noted that the department can do more if more centrally sponsored schemes are available under its department. King also expressed happiness that women are progressing in many areas, including education, employment and becoming equal partners in socio-economic development. To this, the advisor said, the self-reliant projects taken up by the women, even in small and humble ways, could improve the economy of the family and the state as a whole. Concern over the absence of women representative in the State Assembly, King said women should be in the law-making party for inclusive and all-round development. He therefore called upon women to venture into political fields to be part of the law-making body. MLA Dr. Chodisa Sazo inaugurated the Free Archery Coaching Camp for girls under the flagship of Bedi Pachao Bedi Barhao, organized by District Administration and DLCW Mahila Shakti Kendra PEC in collaboration with the Chagasang Archery Association at Chazuba yesterday. Dr. Sazo said that Nagas have the potential to win even in the Olympics. He said Chokravila Suro who participated in the Olympics, is from the area and the young sportspersons in the area also have the potential in rifle shooting and archery. He encouraged them to master in their trades through the training camp. Deputy Commissioner Peg Razovole Dozo said games and sports are part of children's life and one can make a livelihood through sports. Dozo appealed to the young people to maintain discipline with enthusiasm at a coaching camp. That is all we have in this morning news bulletin. 
Have a good day. 